Ukrainian kamikaze marine drones. Russia literally shuddered. Ukraine has opened a new page in naval affairs. It opened it loudly and brightly. This is how the explosion on the Russian Crimean bridge on the night of July 17th this year was perceived outwardly. The successful attack on this most important infrastructure structure for Russia was carried out by a Ukrainian maritime drone, or as it's most often called, a marine kamikaze drone. In this video, we'll talk about this new Ukrainian weapon and try to assess its prospects. To what extent its use will affect the Russian-Ukrainian war. Since the beginning of the war, Russia has blockaded Ukrainian Black Sea ports, depriving Ukraine of the ability to deliver all kinds of cargo by sea. The Ukrainian military could not do much against this blockade. Their navy, even before the war, was a rather sad sight, as a vivid image of the corruption that flourished in Ukraine all the years of independence. In fact, as of February 24, 2022, there were only two combat-ready warships in the country, the frigate Hetman Sagadakny and the landing ship Yuri Oleferenko. Both ships were built during the Soviet era. The frigate was sunk by the Ukrainians themselves at the berth for unknown reasons, and the landing ship was sunk by Russian missiles in the port of Odessa on May 29, 2023. Of course, the Ukrainians still have Western anti-ship missiles, Harpoon and Naval Strike Missile, as well as a cruise missile, Neptune, of their production. By the way, it was this missile that destroyed the cruiser, Moskva. However, the combat range of these missiles is not enough to strike Russian ships in Sevastopol or the Crimean Bridge. The Russians, knowing this, felt very confident in the Black Sea, and then suddenly, like a thunderbolt, or rather an explosion in the night, it turns out that Ukraine can deliver sensitive blows to the Russians in the sea almost 400 miles from its shores. And this is the work of Ukrainian maritime drones. Their attack on the Crimean Bridge showed that drones have changed the concept of modern warfare. Despite numerous statements by Russian officials about the impossibility of penetrating the defense of Vladimir Putin's favorite brainchild, guarded by S-400 Triumph and Pantsir S-1 surface-to-air missile systems, the bridge was badly damaged. This became a real-world sensation. However, the first triumphant use of maritime drones occurred back on, on October 29, 2022, when the world's first attack was carried out exclusively by maritime drones. They attacked the Russian fleet in Sevastopol and hit three ships, including the Admiral Makarov patrol ship. At the same time, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced the creation of a special maritime drone fleet consisting of 100 Ukrainian-made watercraft. The purpose of its formation, Zelensky declared, the protection of the water area of Ukraine from cruise missiles launched from Russian ships. What is the Ukrainian Kamikaze Maritime Drone? You can see its appearance and get acquainted with its technical characteristics at the International Defense Industry Fair, which is held from July 25th to 28th in Turkey. The official name of this vehicle is Magura V5, Maritime Autonomous Guard Unmanned Robotic Apparatus V-Type. In Ukraine, it's unofficially jokingly called Mykola 3. Mykola is a Ukrainian name analog of Nikki. It's a compact, high-speed, and very maneuverable vessel, in the bow of which is located a mine or bomb that detonates upon collision with an enemy object. During bad weather at sea, such an object is little visible to the enemy, as its height above the waterline does not exceed one and a half feet. Due to the simplicity of their design, they're produced in small, non-core enterprises, which is very important for Ukraine as the Russians hunt for military production and destroy with their cruise missiles and aerial kamikaze drones the shops where weapons are produced or repaired. In addition, Ukrainian marine drones have a relatively low cost of manufacture, approximately $250,000. They're based on civilian jet skis model GTX or Fish Pro of the Canadian company Sea-Doo with Austrian gasoline engines and Austrian Rotax. However, some experts believe that the Ukrainian Magura V5 is based on the American reconnaissance marine drone UUV Montes T-12, which came to Ukraine back in April this year. The number of items was not announced, but the total cost of the deliveries approached $800 million. Ukrainians claim that almost all components of Magura V-5 are Ukrainian. The latter's hard to believe. Anyway, the cruising speed of the Ukrainian maritime drone is 22 knots, and its maximum speed is 42 knots. For comparison, the maximum speed of the Russian patrol boat is 27 knots. The drone is controlled through the Starlink system. The signals fed directly to the control panel. In addition to manual control via Starlink, the device has a navigation system GPS and inertial. Most of the electronics from the Chinese company Fujian Jinhao, the autonomy is up to 60 hours. 
The drone is five and a half meters long and one and a half meters wide, range up to 450 nautical miles. Thanks to the shock detonators placed in the bow of the ship, an explosion occurs upon collision with an enemy object. The explosives are Soviet aircraft bombs, FAB-100 or FAB-250, of which Ukraine has sufficient stocks. The weight of the explosive on board is 320 kilograms. When manufacturing the drone, a completely new lightweight metal body is put instead of the factory-installed fiberglass casing. What's the attitude towards this new Ukrainian weapon? Of course, in the Ukrainian media, you can read and hear only rave reviews about it. Especially after Ukrainian uncrewed kamikaze boats attacked the Novorossiysk naval base on the night of August 4th and severely damaged the large landing ship Olengorsk Minor. Some Ukrainian experts have begun to claim that Ukraine will soon ban the Russian military fleet in the Bay of Sevastopol with the help of these weapons, but we'll try to be more objective. Yes, such ships for Ukraine are probably the only true solution. After all, even if it still had classic warships, their first attempt to shell something in Crimea would be considered suicide. They would have been immediately destroyed either by Russian planes or coastal defense batteries. But of course, Ukrainian kamikaze marine drones will not solve all of Ukraine's problems in the Black Sea, and for sure they will not be able to lock the fleet in the bay. Still, there are several objective disadvantages of such ships. First, even though visually they're quite difficult to detect, especially at night or in bad weather, they're still detected. The thing is that the gasoline engine is very well heard by the ship's acoustic systems. And then machine guns or rapid-fire cannons come into play. For example, large-caliber machine guns, caliber 12.7 and 14.5 mm, as well as ship artillery, AK-630 caliber 30 mm with one six-barrel rotating gun and a rate of fire of 4,000 to 5,000 rounds per minute. And on the naval drone, any protection is absent in principle. Therefore, when hit, there's a detonation of the warhead which blows the drone literally to pieces. What the Russians have demonstrated several times is repelling attacks of Ukrainian marine drones with their warships. Traditional and long-known booms can also be used to combat these devices. By the way, after the last attack on the Crimean Bridge, the Russians started to put up such barriers, so the Magura V-5 is certainly not an absolute weapon. Moreover, some military experts, including Western ones, call these drones a weapon of the weak against the strong. But all of the above does not mean that maritime drones will soon become useless after Russians begin to take emergency measures to defend against them. Any war is a complex application of various weapon systems. Just as there's no absolute weapon, there's no absolute defense. The same Crimean bridge, ships, or submarines with cruise missiles can be destroyed if attacked in a complex way for example, by a group of marine drones. One of them will blow up the booms and make a passage in them, the rest will attack the bridge and ships in the bay through it. At the same time, there's a strike by Anglo-French Storm Shadow Scalp EG cruise missiles, the same can be said for attacking ships at sea. In other words, the appearance of more and more new weapons in Ukraine is increasing the combat potential of the Ukrainian army drop by drop, and there's bound to be the last drop which will tip the scales of victory to the side of Ukraine to the side of justice and freedom. So Ukrainian kamikaze drones are a useful and timely weapon. What do you think about Ukrainian kamikaze drones? Write about it in your comments below. Both we and our other viewers will be interested to read them. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up for our labor. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There will be more interesting videos about modern weapons.